and I'll just show you a few more examples. Um, collecting things and keeping them, so coupons. I am a collector of stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but stuff that's important or keeps memory. So we went to the Stampede in 2014, so that went in there. Uh, fortune cookie slips. Um, I like to save handwriting from envelopes from family members. And I love music and cut my name out of an old credit card and stuck it on there. This was in 2015. So you can see the styles have changed since the ones I just showed you. This was um, playing with a bunch of items from the house. And here's a jar a mesh for like the canvas mesh for needle point. Um, the part that you rip off from um, watercolor paper from journal paper. There's that part that goes on with coil. Save that. Lots of fun. You could use um, potato masher. There's all kinds of stuff you can use. Um, this is integrating old photography and windows. So I like to, I'm starting to think I'm going to start doing more windows in my journals. And again, this started with um, the collaging or the uh, watercolor, only using watercolor paints, but making different textures rubber stamping, a little bit of washi tape. And then I had this photograph that the parent council took of us at my school for a teacher appreciation days. I was like, what am I gonna do with this big photo? So I cut it out the background and then drew myself a shirt. And then the idea was to integrate the colors on this page and this page and the colors from this page here. And so the golds are here. And then putting little prompts, you did it. And I could, did some journaling at, with a color that went blended into the background because nobody else needed to read it but me. And there might be even some journaling underneath here. I'm not sure anymore. It's been a long time. So you don't have to use a lot of supplies, and that's what these journals here are. Um, you can let other people journal in your journal and then add on. So my grade ones wanted to write in my journal. They wrote me messages and then I made a page around what they had to say. These kids are now in grade seven, I believe. Yeah, there's Maddie. Um, sometimes I create reflections based on things that I see in the media. This one was about... Um, rights of people who are not heterosexuals and this was a response to a family member instead of leaving a comment on Facebook I just put it in here and I did not share it and nobody else needs to read it and uh, this one was really simple but a drawing of my dad's hand he used to go a-okay -okay. And this was about my emotions as he was um, suffering from cancer and saying goodbye to him and how I'm feeling. And so sometimes I write poems and just keeping the backgrounds really simple. And sometimes it's just writing notes. Here's another ticket for my flight to California. We went to Universal Studios. There's the admission ticket. And then just some paintings that I've done. And then this is just from my house. I didn't know what to draw. So I looked around and I drew my books, books, uh, bookshelf and then wrote about abundance and had some questions. And then I like.